chip in a lot further down the track, isn't it? <coughs> The, uh, the exhaust temperature didn't come up as far as I thought it would. No. Taking that camera off. Okay. down three miles an hour at that speed. Really? Yeah, it, it's not, uh, it only gets three lights of revs instead of flashing like it did yesterday. Uh, I'm not going to change it. it. It'll be good and safe this way. Um, <coughs> it's less violent to the infield. <coughs> it's a little, like I thought, you know, with the gear, a little slower off turn two, so sometimes I may have to downshift the first gear and it's then it's all violent but it's it's a little slower off the oval turn because because of the gear so the other gear is the way to go but i'm not it's just gonna it'll be fine this this yeah and this will be you know it won't do as many revs it'll be, be better on gas was uh, about a second slower than it was yesterday. You know, you know, there's practice. You, know, you, you find a rhythm with your shifting and stuff. It, it may lap just as quick as it did yesterday with less revs and less work, you know. How's it going, Al? Not too bad. Those brake pads are all good. Making noise. What? They didn't put flag it? No. I don't, well, I don't know. If they did, I talked to clock said there were seven minutes left when I went by, and then they, they waved us in. There should have been at least six more minutes left. I didn't go to with three laps. Right? I went down the straightaway here three times. Still running, Chuck. Oh, I didn't know that the camera's still on. Well, there you go. We finally got just a little little helmet camera because um, it's now suddenly banned. You can't put your hel uh, camera on your helmet. You can put it on your go kart, but they they don't allow you to put it on your helmet. So we broke the rules. Shame on me. Um, uh, I don't see what the big deal is. I really don't. Uh, we just uh, ran a little different setup than yesterday, and we didn't get to bring you any footage from yesterday because they wouldn't let you put the camera on your helmet. Um, we put new tires on, which gives us, you know, uh, a, a lot of uh, confidence. When you start on new tires, everything's smooth and nice and handles well and turns well and has good grip. So... Um, but that, that, that we, we slowed down about a second, and this you know it's only pra uh, practice. It's ra racing when you get out there running around, uh, you get amped up, you go a little faster than you're able to in practice. But um, we changed the gear. We took one tooth. We put one less tooth on the axle, which should give it more speed. But it uh, it lost three mile an hour, 
and it's not carrying the, the RPM, so it's not pulling that gear. Um, so we learned something. That's probably not probably not the way to go at this track. That's probably a, a good starting place for a Daytona type gear. But um, because your top speed is all from where the straightaway ends into that banking, um, it doesn't look like you're turning, but you're turning. And anytime you turn, you're binding up the car, and uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna rev out and continue going at that speed uh, like it would in a straight line. So if we were just going straight, it would have continued to pick up speed. Um, this track isn't uh, isn't as long and as big and as configured uh, configured as, as the same as Daytona. So um, we're here to learn. That's what we're doing. Um, we could change it back to the way it was yesterday. Um, I just don't feel like working on it. I don't think I'm going to do it. I think we're just going to leave it the way it is. It's good and reliable. It's not as fast, but. You know, it's good and smooth. We'll get a ride out of it, and we'll we'll learn some more about this this new engine. So that's it. We'll uh, try to bring you some more later. They won't let us record the race, but uh, Chuck says, "Hey, we'll talk to y'all soon. God bless. Godspeed."